All right, that concludes Evan Miss 2022. What a wild ride. I'm officially 26. There's no going back. There's no redos. The sun always sets and rises and the moon always shows. Let's take a look back and I'm not prepared. <laughs> Google. Dot com. Hmm. Yes, quite interesting. First day was glass blowing with George. This is my pride and joy, okay? This looks so small, but it took such a long time. We were off to a good start on that one. It's this guy who's basically in Moraine City. He works on motorcycles and anything with a motor. He got in like a car accident and had all of his glass pieces in the back of his truck and they all shattered. That was beautiful, man. Nice job, dude. Kill that. The next day was maple syrup and airbrushing. Sunday was a blank day, oh my god. It's not in the document, what the fuck? The most 90s atmospheric intelligent jungle you have ever seen. <laughs> Monday was cool because I got to do an activity with Tina. As I'm doing all of this fun stuff, she's like going through literal hell from her school. Here's her schedule, which is quite packed. Every time she's not working on homework, she's actually working because she needs money. The rage room on the 5th was really cool. I think Josh was the perfect person to go with. I think life has been shafting him quite a bit. He was a really good guy to go with. And I think we both need to blow off some steam. The sixth was parkour and that was super dope. I've been rock climbing a lot recently and I thought that I would be using the same muscles, you know, upper body and stuff. But with that, it's like full body. And it, it motivates me to try to do a front flip on flat again. Thursday on the seventh was quite the trip. That was acupuncture day. I just always wanted to do it, but always kept pushing it back a year later and a year later and then never ended up doing it. And he, uh, he did a number on my back, I'll tell you what. The whole entire holistics treatment is just something that's completely brand new to me. So that was really interesting. One of the things, he, he put some ointment on my back and took like a smooth rock and just like repeatedly pushed down on my back. I told him I had a shoulder impingement from climbing, so my shoulder and back is super bruised up, supposedly. That's a lymphatic drainage massage where that constant rubbing is encouraging the lymphatic system to drain out all the toxins and stuff like that. It's a couple days later and my back is bruised as shit. Maybe it does work. I'm not qualified to say. Go-karting was probably the climax of the week. Most of the friends came for that one. My dad made an appearance. I know he, he's a true motorhead. Instead of indoor skydiving, my mom and my aunt and my cousin, we all went rock climbing. It's fun that my mom likes to do it because <clears throat> it's something that we can like bond over and it's a super healthy activity. From parkour to cart to cart to acupuncture to rock climbing, my body is pretty burnt out. I can definitely still keep going to exert so much physical energy for like the last four days straight. It's really fulfilling. Also yesterday, I, I've been writing a document of the top 10 Evan moments. Might be turned into a video, might not. Yesterday was like a, a day of reflection too, because 2021 and 2022 were pretty crazy. I think 25 was like a pivotal moment for my life. That's like the perfect age, I think, where 
I'm old enough to know certain things and not be a dumbass, but I'm young enough to be a dumbass. I think I'm the most healthiest I've ever been, just on a physical standpoint, but also like a mental standpoint too. And I think that's really important. I had the doomer phase, probably like 22, 23, and now I'm in the bloomer phase where I'm settled down. I already went through that hardship and I'm ready to take on life. Yeah, this whole thing was super fulfilling. I'll probably do it every year because it just is an excuse to learn new things, do new experiences, meet new people, cherish present friends. I'm fucking tipped out, shipped out, ready to rock out. The final thing is the Jack White concert. This is a Third Man Records shirt that, I mean, it honestly fits like a glove. It covers all my bruises on my back. This is like probably the fanciest shirt I've ever had. So yeah, honestly, it's been fucking sick. If I could put it into words, here's to the new year, to my new year, I suppose. I gotta chug this whole thing. So, cheers. Love ya, appreciate ya. Whoever's watching this, good on ya, mate. Straight vinegar. <laughs> We've done it, boys. We've survived hell. And we live to see Vanilla.